Hi there, my name is, whoa, wait. Hi there, my name is Takora Divine, and I have been trying to do an introduction video for the past couple of weeks and over and over when I did the video I just ended up deleting it because something didn't feel right and I think I figured it out that if I'm gonna do an introduction video I have to show the real me this is the first time that I've ever posted anything without hair or makeup but it's worth it Currently having second thoughts. I can hear my mom now going like, girl, why don't you create a video and your hair is a mess. Okay, whatever. So, I do feel kind of vulnerable honestly doing this. This is weird. Am I actually going to post this? This is so weird. Um, I have my transitioning hair that I haven't even been to the salon in a hot minute. Um, I have my brows that haven't been done in about two months, which actually I don't really care about too much. Um, I have my nails that are chipped. This is so weird. <laughs> I feel really weird about this. I was thinking to myself when planning this, I was like, how am I going to feel? Am I going to feel vulnerable or different, pretty, how do I feel? I feel, I feel worthy. Why am I creating this video? Again, it's not about bashing the makeup industry and it's not about talking about myself for a few minutes and it's definitely not about a gimmick just to sell my apparel line. I am creating this video because I know for a fact that I am not the only person who has felt the need to use a mask to enhance their own self-worth. I may not be a professional makeup artist or even an expert in videography, but what I am an expert in, which I have been so focused on doing for many years now, is being an expert and getting people to know that they were created for a reason and knowing that they have a great amount of worth. Get your notebooks ready because we're going to go over three things at the end of this video. Question one, are you letting the opinions of others determine your worth? Before being called ugly by several of my peers, the only thing that I really focused on I think was recess and cupcakes or cookies or whatever like something like that. All of a sudden I became focused on what was beautiful and what was not and what was worthy and what was not and what was in and what was me. It had gotten so bad I remember my 10th grade year of high school I had ran out of time before putting on makeup and I had gotten to school and my boyfriend was coming my direction so I just ran the other way because the thought of me showing my bare face was just so completely unbearable. I think that was the first time that I realized that I was letting someone else insults an opinion of me shape my entire life. There's something that my dad used to tell me all the time in middle school while it was happening and I hated it and it's annoying and it's frustrating but I'm telling you this now because it actually makes sense is why are you responding to a name that you were never meant to have? All of those kids made an impact on my life because I respond to the insults that they gave me. 
And in order for somebody to give you something, you have to receive it. So them calling me ugly and me receiving those insults, that was me actually taking it in. And that was something I was never meant to do. Question two, are you letting thoughts or items determine your worth? For me, the objects were makeup, my clothing, my wardrobe, my hairstyle. And by thoughts, I know a lot of us can relate to this. I was so focused on getting double taps on my Instagram photos. The thought of people thinking so well of me gave me worth. It was like each time I had a heart pop up on Instagram, that was just someone saying I approve of you as if that's in their hands in the first place. And the last thing that has to do a lot with your self-worth. How do you envision yourself being truly joyful? I say joyful, not happy, because happy means that you have to have something happening. I mean truly joyful, where you don't need anybody else to give you any kind of credibility or acceptance, where you know your true worth and you don't need anybody else's credibility or acceptance to know that. I think that this is the video that I've been wanting. I'm kind of nervous about editing it, seeing my face being so fair, my nails being so cracked. It's so weird. It's so weird. But I am so excited to give this journey. The next video, I'm probably going to talk more about my credibility so you're just not like, who is this girl? thinking that she can give advice. Well, I do actually have years of experience. So I can't wait to share and learn more about you and hope that this helps. I'm really sure that it does, but it's only gonna help you as much as the work that you put into it. So if you didn't get your notebooks the first time, rewind and go back and then learn. I will see you soon. Well, you'll see me soon and I'll hear from you soon and that'll work out just like that. Go ahead and subscribe down below. Bye.